Hi guys, JB Minot here, and these are my first pickups for the year 2024. Let's go. This I got from PlayAsia.com, really cheap, but I think $16. Farmers vs. Zombies. I'm kind of disappointed in this game because I thought it was a Plants vs. Zombies type game, which it is to a degree, but uh, during the day you have to farm and make money and all this other kind of crap, and that wasn't very fun. But the problem is, of course, the controls are not very smooth so but there's that if you'd like a what they need to do is bring back plants vs zombies for the switch i know they got one for the switch but it's a first person shooter type game i, I think they bring back a whole bunch of pop cap games those games were fun those would be great on the switch anyway next game i got this from gamefly.com train valley collection you're basically you operate a train building company or a train track building company and you connect train tracks around valleys and around cities and stuff from one station to another make sure the trains don't run into each other make sure you're making money paying your taxes etc etc this would be a great game but they needed to design it for the handheld this was designed for obviously a pc which has a bigger screen but uh, it's hard to play on handheld because everything's so microscopic but if you like games like that you, you can't go wrong it's just uh Maybe play it on TV or something. I got this one cheap from Amazon.com. Warhammer 40,000. Shooters, Blood, and Teeth. The last Warhammer game I got was uh, Warhammer's Bolt Gun. And that was a blast to play. So I decided to get this one. Hopefully this one is just as good as that one. And it's a shooter in the Warhammer universe. Here's a beautiful game. It's a side-scrolling shooter. The Night Witch. Instead of a spaceship and being in space, you're a witch on a broom and it's got fantasy elements. So it's a beautiful game. If you like shooters, side-scrolling shooters, you can't go wrong. Here's a great game, if not for the uh, stupid ragdoll physics. Suicide Guy. It's Suicide Guy Collection, excuse me. But in actuality, it's only got two Suicide Guy games on it. Suicide Guy and Suicide Guy Sleeping Deeply. I think there's at least a third or fourth Suicide Guy game out there. But basically, the idea behind Suicide Guy is you got this idiot on a couch watching TV and he's about to fall asleep. And as he's falling asleep, he's about he's spilling his beer. So, he wakes up in Dream World watching his beer about to fall and he decides he's got to wake up to get to the beer. And he, uh, he has to solve a bunch of puzzles to get himself out of dreamland well the only way to get out of dreamland is for him to kill himself in dreamland so he figures out different ways in these puzzles to off his character so he can get back to his beer like i said it's a very fun game if not for the the ragdoll physics it's kind of hard to control kind of hard to see what you're doing you don't know if you're solving the puzzle or if it's just the physics of it that you're not getting right anyway there's you like puzzle games it's pretty good. And the puzzles, there aren't a whole lot of puzzles in it. It's just the puzzles are very elaborate. All right, Dead Cells, Return to Castlevania Edition. Uh, if you like Dead Cells and you like Castlevania, this will do well for you. Haven't quite played it yet. Got it used at GameStop. You're basically playing Dead Cells in the old school Castlevania universe. It's not the Castlevanias that are like Metroid. Just the regular side-scrolling linear... Castlevanias, as far as I know. Last but not least, my favorite game of the year so far, and definitely my favorite game of January. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. It mixes Prince of Persia and Metroid. It's a Metroidvania. And it first starts out, for the first 15 minutes, it's pretty linear. And then it goes into the Metroidvania map building tableaus and all this other stuff. But it's a fun game, side-scrolling, and the controls are tight. The bosses are, aren't impossible. They're hard, but they're not impossible. The game, the exploring is fun, and it's just a great, the graphics are great, too. It's just a great, great game. And it's probably going to be, at the end, hopefully, probably one of the best games of the year. Anyhow, those are my first pickups for the month of, for the year excuse me 
of 2024. I hope you all have a great, happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a peaceful, happy Valentine's Day. Pray that uh, we have peace in the Middle East. And uh, I just want to say that Jesus Christ is Lord. And God bless. Bye-bye.